Hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are. Bloody hello. Now when I say British countryside, is this something you had in mind? We've got hills, we've got landscapes, we've got flats, we've got bumps, and we've got wildlife. I couldn't have timed that any better, could I? Beautiful. So I'm out here today. Ripson A de Zoo is over that way. Dunstable Downs is... It's either that one or that one. I'm guessing because there's gliders up there, it's that one. And up on my Instagram, you can see what you can't now, which is the... I believe it's called the Whipson Aid Lion. It's a giant lion that's been drawn on the uh, side of a hill in the distance over yonder. Now I am kind of parked on the side of the road here, so I'm going to start moving. So how are we? Are we enjoying the weather? I will admit I came out yesterday and started recording a video, to which I did not save, because bug, bug splatter is an issue. Speaking of which, nah, you're fine. viewers are fine. How you doing? So this is a new setup I've got going on. Hi. You are fine. Oh. This is the new setup I've got going on. New helmet. Evo line. No, it's not Evo line. It's the Evo 1. So it's slimmer. There's a damn sight better job of being aerodynamic. The only issue is now I've put the camera on the front here. Um, it's less aerodynamic balls so maybe I'll sort something out for that in a bit maybe I won't but for now it's fine it's good so the last three days this will be the fourth we have had this weather blue sky partial to owl be in the face partial to a bit of a cloud we had a nice spot of rain last night a bit of thunder and lightning but I didn't see any of the lightning, otherwise I would have recorded it. Again, balls. But oh well. Oh shit, let me the camera on. Sorry, 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 my bad. I've been an absolute mess this morning. And what happens is when you are completely bored at home, there's no games that can satisfy that need of being constantly on with something, you know. My mind constantly ticks over, it's like what can I do now, what can I do now, what can I do now, and I get bored very, very quickly. So yeah, the games ain't been cutting it. So what is there to do? Well, I'll tell you what there is to do, my friend. Go to bed at two o'clock in the morning, and then again at half two last night. Half two. Because I'm nice like this. wake up about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning with little sleep and oh, here I am riding I don't recommend riding while tired I'm not exactly tired at the moment it's just the impending doom which is you are going to want to take a nap later and it's going to make you cranky oh boy so there's a big smile on my face at the moment, but I know that's going to happen. Yesterday, I took a couple of rides, recorded both bugs on the camera, stopped me from being able to actually use the video, big shame. And uh, some of the things I was talking about was just utter rubbish as well. I started getting into the whole political correctness thing, and that's not an area which I want to dip my toe into. Although what I will say, to sum up from everything I did say yesterday on that, which you'll never see, is people get offended way too quickly after you after you come on and by getting offended way too quickly oh i ain't, I ain't even gonna go further into that nope there are groups out there who get far too offended far too quickly and it's just it's uh, it's abysmal it's it's a stain on human intelligence once we go past the national speed limit sign i will 
drop her down. I'm sure I'd have lived her in the dust. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to Dunstable Downs, ladies and gents. It is a wonderful bit of landscape. This is now my favourite place to come to ride. It was Woburn. Mind you, there are quite a few areas in Woburn I haven't yet seen, but the difference is with these hills there is a view on top of them and you can actually see stuff not just trees jelly bean sounds good today so that being said if there is a topic you want me to talk about or if you feel like i've got some kind of uh, right to talk about oh god then uh, yeah by all means throw it in the comments down below and i will most certainly have a look into it just checking the GoPro still on. So I did this thing last night where I plugged the GoPro into my PC to charge it and as far as I'm concerned it's been charging all night. Now what the GoPro is actually saying when I charged well when I actually plugged it into the proper charger this morning was quite simply nice ones Whisking away glider. Hello. Is uh, I've also got this kind of accent thing going on at the moment. I can't get rid of it because I'm just in that kind of mood. Oh, funny story actually. Yeah, I came to this roundabout like eight times yesterday. Lost. This damn restaurant. Lost. I kept going that way, thinking it's the way home, and it's not wrong, but it's most certainly not right because that would take me way out. And when you're running low on fuel and the thing's flashing empty you kind of want to get home quickly so that restaurant there was my Blair Witch it just kept coming back to haunt me no, that's that's fine you just you just you know oh, sometimes you can't make it up can you I want to do a left I probably wanted to do a left back there ah oh, well never mind eh so yeah there are a number of clips I have gathered, all ranging from people pulling out to people walking across the road in the middle of the night without a care in the world of if they can be seen or not. And this has all been caught on your lovely self's GoPro. And I call this your GoPro because although it is mine, why am I in the why am I on the line like that? Come on. That's not how I was taught to ride. Come on. Yeah. So, I will call it your GoPro, although it is strictly my property, don't you dare try and put any legal ramifications, mumbo jumbo -y crap on that. I call it your GoPro because it's what you see out of, this is how you view my world. And my world, although it isn't great, it isn't pretty, oh my god it's pretty! <laughs> that shut me up didn't it? Um, yeah, it's, it's not amazing, you know, I, I come out on bike rides. But the rest of the time I'm either working or I'm just playing computer games and that's that's it really. Or watching animated films and anything to do with documentaries or films on the World Wars or the Three Kingdoms era in China or the Sengoku period in Japan. I'm going to turn around here because I have no idea where this is going and I know where I want to be. So I'm going to stop the video here, and then I'm going to start the video again later on when I've actually got something to show you. Right, so after that very slight little detour we took, I have found the way to where I want to go. And funny enough, I was here yesterday, lost as anything, and I took the right way home, only I didn't. I hate all these little bumps in the road, but oh well, what can you do? So, shall we continue the journey? So what can I say about the new helmet? Well, there is a little flappy thing underneath the chin here, which will redirect the wind away from the bottom of the helmet, meaning you don't get a load of air going up in front of your face from underneath your chin, which is great. 
I'm not using at the moment because it's hot as hell and I'm hoping that's not affecting the uh, microphone there but oh well also the design is a lot sleeker it's more aerodynamic I'll probably mention that already the visor on the front will automatically pop up when I move the jaw so if the jaw is down like it is at the moment because you can see forward then when I push the button and lift the visor will pop up first allowing me free movement of the jaw if I put the jaw behind me and then lower the visor again obviously the visor is going to be in the way if I want to bring the jaw back over but not to worry when you do bring the jaw back round it automatically kicks the visor up and out the way which is an amazing little trick and I love it so at long last here we are at Le Dunstable Downs and the views are magnificent if I do say so myself as much as I'd love to take it right to the end over that I just simply cannot to so, Welcome to Dunstable, ladies and gents. If you haven't been here before, I strongly recommend it. Somewhere around here is the Whipsnade Zoo, which I imagine is going to be way over that way somewhere, but never mind. And from here, you can watch the gliders. You can watch all the things. So I am going to leave Jellybean here for a moment. And fingers crossed, nice bird up there, we're going to see, or well, we're going to capture a little bit of footage of the gliders and the planes. <laughs> 